Hey guys, today we are measuring this JCB160 for hydraulic thumb. Just gonna go through the basics of it. It's pretty standard for any machine, any 160. Uh, of course, this one's gonna be a hydraulic thumb because it has auxiliary hydraulics and it's plumb to do so. Uh, the easiest way to do it is put your bucket on the ground with the stick and bucket, similar to what's shown here. I'm just gonna take your tape measure. You're gonna wanna run it from the tip of your teeth, right there to your stick. You want to come up just a little bit because if you put your weld on thumb too low, it's going to end up uh, bumping on your thumb. So you're just going to want to take it from down here at the teeth. It's a little bit above. It looks like this one's going to be roughly 52 inches. I always recommend going a hair over, over going with a shorter thumb. If their option is split between two different sizes, uh, you see we're at 54 right there, even better. Uh, if you go too short, just to give you an illustration, we're going to bring our tape measure in a bit. We'll just put it at, let's say, like 45. And what will happen is when you go to curl, your bucket will end up swallowing your thumb. And that's just, uh, you're going to lose the juice ability. So but as long as it's within reason, it's better to go longer than shorter. Hope that video is beneficial to you. As always, you can see our full inventory of heavy equipment, buckets, hydraulic, and manual thumbs, and more online at i35equipment.com. Feel free to call with any questions. We're happy to help. Phone number is 405-833-6437. Have a wonderful day.